Hey everyone, it's Matthew here with SDGC Live at PAX West 2019, talking to Chris from Way Forward. How are you today? I'm wonderful. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Will you please tell everyone what it is you do at Way Forward that makes it so magical? Uh, well, I'm the director of publishing at Way Forward, so any game that comes out of us that is either published, uh, inter or, sorry, that is either developed internally and is published by us, or is developed externally uh, and published by us. So that could be everything from all of these wonderful titles, Shantae, River City, Girls, Vitamin Connection, Mighty Switch Force, to titles like Mystic Bell that were developed completely externally. We helped with some of the porting and all of the marketing and partner relationships with the first parties. You do a great job. It's, it's, it's not an easy thing to do. Um, it's, but it's something we're all at the company super passionate about. Uh, Way Forward is like a family. The company's been around for 30 years and we just love making games. The house that Shantae built. The house that, the house that built Shantae. <laughs> so we have great games all around, but we are here to talk to you about a brand new specific one, River City Girls. Yep. What can you tell us about the game for those that might not be aware about the River City IP in general? So River City Girls uh, is the latest game in the River City or Kunio Kun franchise. It's been around for also 30 years uh, and has had something like 52 games in Japan, but very few of them actually come out here. The first one being... Well, technically, first one being Renegade, and then the second one being River City Ransom, which you know was a fan favorite of everybody who grew up playing the NES. Uh, so that came out on the NES. Um, God, I don't even remember what year. 1986. Something. Six? Sure. sure. Um, but we're big fans. Um, and these days, so River City Ransom was originally uh, developed by Technos, uh, and the license has changed hands a few times over the years. It's now owned by Arc System Works of Guilty Gear fame and Kill a Kill fame. Um, and Dragon Ball Z fame. So much fame. Blaze Blue fame. Right, Blaze Blue fame. Cross Tag Battle fame. Right. Just a few small titles. You know, it, Niche. Very. Yeah. Anyways. So, um, uh, so uh, one of our game directors, Adam Tierney, um, really wanted to work with them on any of their franchises. We've done Double Dragon Neon in the past. We're big fans of Kunio Kun and the related characters. And um, gave, them a, gave uh, Ark a pitch that we weren't sure how they would receive it, and that was, we want to take the traditional trope of the boys saving their girlfriends and flip it on its head and have the girlfriends have to save their boyfriends. And Ark loved the idea. They thought it was brilliant, hilarious. We started to pitch them some of the dialogue and some of the narrative, and they just thought this was amazing. And they gave us tons of complete uh, creative control. That's, that's important. Yeah. Um, so we went nuts with this game. There is uh, fully animated cutscenes. An amazing 62-song uh, soundtrack of synth-pop retro wave music uh, with people like Megan McDuffie, uh, Christina V, Nate Wants to Battle, uh, Dale North, Chipzel. Just an amazing soundtrack. Um, we also have um, story beats that are done in fully animated manga panels. Nice. Um, and then beautiful, beautiful pixel art throughout the actual gameplay. Now, random aside, if you got Christina V on music, did you also tap her to be a voice on the game? She is a voice. So we revealed she's actually um, the two main characters, uh, Mizako and Kyoko, have kind of like antagonistic rivals in the game, uh, Hasabe and Mami, who are legacy characters that have been in many, many Kunio Kun games. And so she's the voice of Hasabe as well. Now, how did you, like, how did it go about, or how was it overall working with a Japanese IP, but Developing it with a Western flavor, like because you had complete control. So how did you approach that? Well, we did have complete control, but the great thing was, you know, obviously we were a little worried that we would somehow besmirch the good name of Kunio Kun. But Arc System Works was an amazing partner. They were there to give us freedom, but also to help if we had questions like, how should we approach this? What would a traditional Kunio Kun game do in this situation? And they were very helpful in helping give us access to decades worth of assets and resources. We, we poured over all these past games. In fact, one of the games that never made it to the States, which I will not even try to pronounce, but uh, we refer to as Banka because that's one of the words in the title, um, is a game that came out for the Super Famicom that had the girls as playable. Kyoko and Misako were playable in it. Um, and so that was kind of our inspiration for making the girls the playable characters in this. Uh, but anyways, Ark was super helpful with all of that, giving us approvals, giving us guidance. Um, and so when we came time to you know approach this storied franchise. We, we, we went into it confident because we knew Ark wouldn't let us fail. So, so yeah, it, it, it all worked out really well. And you come out next week. Next week. So it's available as of this moment, physical pre-order on limiterungames.com. Um, but digital comes out on all storefronts 
uh, September 5th, Thursday of next week. So outside of River City Girls, which I know has a deep place in your heart, obviously, uh, what is one of your more favorite recent Way Forward games that you want people to know about? Uh, that's currently live? Well, I'm partial to the Mighty Switch Force Collection. Uh, we took four of our legacy games uh, that have come out on various platforms, 3DS, Wii, Steam, um, and collected them into one package, so they're available on one platform at the same time for the first time in history. Nice. Available on Switch, Xbox One, PS4, and Steam. And if you're to buy the games individually, I think they're somewhere around the $32, $34. It's only $19.99. Can't be bad. No. Uh, and Talk. I, I produced several of them you know, earlier in my career way forward, so I, I'm a little... I'm a little uh, smitten with them so spoken like a true PR man <laughs> so we want to wrap it up because we it's busy it's PAX West uh, what can you is there any like parting words you want to give us or where can they follow way forward oh you can follow way forward uh, at, on Twitter at, at way forward tech um, on Instagram also at way forward tech uh, sorry our Twitter is at way forward Instagram is at way forward tech uh, on Facebook uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel we put out tons of video content amazing trailers funny, you know, behind the scenes dev diary stuff. Um, and yeah, please, if you even think you'll like this game, I know you'll love it. Get limited or get uh, River City Girls. Who's the best girl? Oh, I, I'm, I'm partial to Kyoko. Okay. See, now the final question is the hardest one. Okay. If you have to choose in your heart of hearts, cake or pie? Always pie. This is why we're best friends now. Right. Thank you so much for talking to us. Of course. Thank you. Appreciate you. It's a pleasure.